Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface and Happy Halloween! And what better way to celebrate Halloween on my YouTube channel, my Heel vs Babyface channel, than by doing the Headless Horseman. That sounded a bit dodgy, didn't it? Doing the Headless Horseman. But by doing the Headless Horseman solo. So, big, big thank you to Whippy and Marie. we got Cool Mac Zoo. You'll have to forgive me if I pronounce that incorrectly. And also Lone Howl for taking the time to queue up with me and allow me, just by standing at the door, to solo the Headless Horseman. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this is not just because it's Halloween, but throughout the course of Hall All Hallows End or Hallows End event, um, a few people have said to me, because you know how I love to do my solo stuff on my channel, Raid Boss 101, uh, heroic dungeon soloing and all this kind of jazz. People have said to me, as do you reckon you could solo the Headless Horseman? And I said, yeah, I can't see it being a problem at all. But I didn't put my money where my mouth was. So tomorrow it ends, and it ends early tomorrow too. It ends at like 10 a.m., something like that, 11 a.m., server time, and, and it will finish, and then Day of the Dead takes over. So I thought, well, I don't actually have a lot of time left to try, and do I want to be left wanting? Do I want to be left thinking, well, could I or could I not have done it? Now, if you watched my stream last night, I did a Mount Madness stream, where I went around various dungeons, was killing bosses that dropped mounts to see if I could get some to add to my collection. This event qualified. So I went into this event yesterday and you've got to forgive me, I was a bit giddy, the stream was good fun and I played up a bit and I could not be bothered to put my tank pet away. I kept it out for the duration of this fight. So what happened is when we pulled the Headless Horseman yesterday in a full group, my tank pet actually kept it away from the proper tank. Now, they were a little bit mad at first, uh, but then they realised I was blowing up the Headless Horseman really quickly, so they kind of decided not to be a little bit too gripey about it all. But it, it was that element which made me think, yeah, I, I need to do this complete and utterly solo. So the first two phases have gone absolutely tickety-boo. The first phase, you've just got to avoid the pumpkin that slides across the floor. If it gets to you, it explodes, does a little bit of moderate damage. No big deal. Second phase, you have the conflagrate-esque spell. You have the loss of control of your character for three or so seconds. And then the third and the final stage which we're in now, we get the multiple pumpkin fiends that come in to also attack the boss. So it I wouldn't say challenged me, per se, but, you know, it had little things that you had to look out for. You had to absorb the damage with the conflagrate, you had to avoid the pumpkin, and then, of course, I've decided to tackle all the uh, pumpkin fiends, as opposed to try and leave it to my tank to pick up. I've decided to group them all together and then just do a big bunch of AoE, because I love doing my AoE, get lots of lovely numbers. Just one thing which I've got to bring up here, and I do apologise, but I've got to say this. Blizzard, you need to start putting more attention into your events. These events are becoming a little bit old and a little bit stale, and we're simply doing them for either farming the mount or farming the pet. Maybe if you updated your events properly on an annual basis, you would actually attract more people back to the game. So it's just a little bit of advice that I'd like to throw out there. But there we go. Headless Horseman. Yes, it was easy, fella. Done and dusted. Happy Halloween to you all. And if you are going out tonight, please be safe. Don't take candy off strangers. I'm only kidding. Totally take candy off strangers. But make sure not the ones with the black vans. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Twitch for live streaming. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.